mess this up again. No, me neither, okay? We are, we're done being stupid. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 will they, won't they TV couples. Number 10, Fran Fine and Maxwell Sheffield, The Nanny. Workplace relationships can be complicated, especially between a boss and employee. So we understand why it took Fran and Max the better part of five seasons to figure themselves out. The tension was palpable, but everything worked out in the end. Throughout The Nanny, Max attempts to keep things platonic between him and Fran. He's a widower and is afraid of being unable to commit to another woman. But the thing about Fran is, she's a pretty unstoppable and irresistible force. The fifth season marks the start of a new chapter in their journey, as Max pulls himself together and reveals how he feels, this time with no take-backs. Number 9. Leslie Nope and Ben Wyatt Parks and Recreation Real, long-lasting relationships are built on mutual trust and respect, and also stunning the heck out of your wife, which is exactly what Ben Wyatt does. Ben and Leslie meet during the second season of Parks and Recreation, and while they initially butt heads, they quickly become close. While it was pretty obvious to audiences that these two belonged together from the jump, it took them a bit longer to figure that out for themselves. From restrictions on workplace relationships to election mishaps, it seems there was always something in Leslie and Ben's way. Luckily for us, this is a sitcom and things always work out. Number 8. Temperance, Bones Brennan and Seely Joseph Booth Bones Sometimes the will they won't they question is enough to keep a television show going strong. In the case of Bones, it was enough to give substance to six entire seasons. From the very beginning of the series, Temperance, Brennan and Seely Booth clashed over almost everything. But despite those differences, the two bond over their shared need to do the right thing, and also a physical attraction that won't quit. I feel like I'm going to kiss you. The wild chemistry between actors Emily Deschanel and David Boreanaz was enough to keep fans on the edge of their seats for years. Number 7. Fox Mulder and Dana Scully – The X-Files When it comes to slow burn romances, these two might take the cake for keeping us waiting the longest. Mulder and Scully created the mold for so many crime show romances that were to come after them but to this day, they remain one of our favorites. It took seven seasons for them to initially get together, and some might say their attraction only started in the show's later years, but we think these two sort of always had a thing for each other. And there were signs along the way to pay attention to. Watching those early episodes, their mutual care for each other becomes more than apparent, and those long yearning looks are more frequent than you think. Number 6. Jessica Day and Nick Miller – New Girl as early as the show's first season, the pair's individual quirks make them seem like soulmates, weirdly enough. And when it comes to physical attraction, actors Jake Johnson and Zoe Deschanel really sell it. See, I fell in love with Jess the moment she walked through the door. But while there were high points in our favorite couple throughout New Girl's run, it wasn't always smooth sailing. In fact, leading up to the final season's time jump, we weren't sure if Jess and Nick would actually make it work. Luckily for us, they did. Number 5. Sam Malone and Diane Chambers – Cheers Most of our favorite unpredictable couples ultimately end up together, but sometimes things just aren't meant to be. Throughout most of Cheers' run, the chemistry between these two co-workers is off the charts. I hate you. Are you as turned on as I am? More! But after seasons of that, hookups and breakups, they decide to tie the knot. Our hopes of them finally making it are shattered fast, though, as Diane ends up moving away to focus on becoming a writer. The showrunners fake us out again in the series finale, when Sam and Diane once again get engaged, only to call it off. Number 4. Maddie Hayes and David Addison Jr. Moonlighting Moonlighting, starring Bruce Willis and Sybil Shepherd as David Addison Jr. and Maddie Hayes, two private eyes who loved to hate each other. Willis and Shepard had some of the hottest chemistry on TV. Whether they were fighting or embracing, the show didn't have a whole lot of episodes, but when Maddie and David finally did get intimate, audiences went wild. 60 million people tuned in to watch the question of whether or not they would get answered, with a resounding yes. That's what they want? Romance? Romance. Come on, sister, we'll give them a little romance. Number 3. Daphne Moon and Niles Crane – Frasier 
Having a good will-they-won't-they they couple can do wonderful things for a show's viewership, so it behooves writers to keep the tension going for as long as humanly possible. The Frasier team seemingly took that idea to heart. For seven years, we watched Rapley as Niles and Daphne danced around their feelings for each other. While Niles was the first to fall, and hard, it was clear that Daphne felt the same before the truth came out. Finally, at the end of season seven, the two's romantic journey came to a close. Or a beginning, you might say. Not a day has gone by when I haven't thought of you. The energy between them is so sweet, and we're delighted their story ended in a will they. Number two, Rachel Green and Ross Geller. Friends. From that coffee shop kiss, to the break, to an unexpected baby, and so much more, Rachel and Ross went through the gamut of emotions on Friends, and to the writer's credit, we were left wondering what would happen up until the very end. Things weren't always easy for this will-they-won't-they they couple, far from it. This can't be it. <sighs> then how come it is? And while we hope Rachel got the chance to go to Paris eventually, we were glad she got off the plane in the meantime. Number 1. Pam Beasley and Jim Halpert – The Office In true will-they-won't-they they fashion, the first few seasons of this couple's journey was extremely fraught, but in the seasons after, they continuously proved to us that they were 100% meant to be together. From the very beginning of The Office, it was obvious that Pam and Jim really liked each other. But if we're being honest, they both had a lot of growing up to do before they could commit to each other fully. Three seasons of strife later, they finally did. That moment where Jim pokes his head in through the door and asks Pam on a date is still one of our favourites ever. Then it's a date. 